morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, March 5th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, tech, and science. But first, you'll be interested to know, today is Cinco de Mayo. It's a holiday that celebrates the Mexican army's victory over France in 1862 at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. And now it's time for the surf report. Tuesday offers favorable conditions with variable but light east-southeast wind shifting to south-southwest. Wednesday morning promises lighter wind, but it may pick up by midday. Uncertainty exists for afternoon wind due to conflicting models and coastal storm impact. Expect a west-northwest swell mix Thursday and Friday with potential northwest pulses from the Gulf of Alaska storms. Tuesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego, it's looking fair at two to three feet all day with wind under seven mile per hour. Best time to ride is at 3 p.m with an incoming mid-tide when the southwest swell is one and a half feet at 14 seconds. The first high tide Tuesday will be five feet just before 4.30 a.m. with a minus half foot low tide around 12.30. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 61 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning, it's cloudy and 54 degrees with little wind. The sunset will take place at 5.49 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.09 a.m. It looks like we're in for a cloudy morning, then gradually becoming mostly sunny with a high near 64 and wind of five to 10 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 52. Looking ahead in the weather, on Wednesday, showers are likely in the evening, possibly accompanied by thunderstorms. The high temperature will be around 64 degrees with partly sunny skies. There's a 60% chance of rain. Thursday may see some morning showers with partly sunny conditions and a high near 62 degrees. The weather is expected to clear up from Friday to Sunday with highs in the mid 60s. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, Matthew Dominic, a University of San Diego graduate, embarked on a significant journey to the International Space Station, the commander of NASA Crew-8. The team launched from Kennedy Space Center includes astronauts from NASA and a cosmonaut aiming for a six-month mission. This mission, aboard a SpaceX Dragon capsule, marks Dominic's first space venture with potential future missions under NASA's Artemis program. During his stay, Dominic will engage in research, maintenance, and possibly spacewalks, continuing the legacy of UCSD graduates in space. His journey from a Navy fighter pilot to NASA astronaut showcases a lifelong aspiration for space exploration, fueled by childhood inspirations. Dominic's training and career highlight over 400 aircraft carrier landings and significant contributions to U.S. military efforts. Life on the ISS will present unique challenges, including sleeping tethered to a wall and experiencing the Earth's orbit every 90 minutes. The mission also offers a spectacular view of Earth, with opportunities for the public to spot the ISS from San Diego County. (music) 
The Denver Broncos are set to release quarterback Russell Wilson, a move influenced by the financial implications of his contract. The decision to release him allows the team to distribute the cap impact across 2024 and 2025. For 2024, the cap charges $35 million, with a subsequent $50 million charge in 2025. This strategic release, structured as a post-June 1st transaction, offers the Broncos a way to manage their salary cap more effectively. The move comes with a potential saving grace. If Wilson signs elsewhere in 2024, the Broncos could receive a credit against his guaranteed compensation, applied in 2025. Avoiding further financial strain, the Broncos avoided guaranteeing Wilson's $37 million salary for 2025 by not extending him past March 17. Last night in the NBA, the Clippers on the road facing the Bucks lost 113 to 106. And the Lakers at home beat the Thunder 116 to 104. Tonight in national hockey, the Kings are at home taking on the Canucks. In top news, Wall Street is undergoing a significant shift in its approach to diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives amidst a conservative backlash and concerns over reverse discrimination. Goldman Sachs has opened its Possibilities Summit for Black college students to include white students reflecting broader changes across the financial sector. Bank of America and Bank of New York Mellon are among those reevaluating their DEI strategies with the latter, advised to abandon hard metrics for workforce diversity. These changes signal a retreat from previous commitments to DEI, spurred by legal challenges, and the politicization of affirmative action and DEI efforts. Recruitment programs and internal DEI initiatives are being reworked, moving away from exclusive focus on women and minorities to broader inclusivity. The shift marks a departure from recent years' momentum towards racial reckoning and inclusive hiring, driven by a legal and cultural backlash. In business news, Bitcoin has reached a new all-time high trading at $68,791, surpassing its previous record set in November of 2021. This surge breaks a more than two-year period of stagnation and revives optimism in the crypto ecosystem. The climb in Bitcoin's value has been significantly influenced by the U.S. regulators' approval of Bitcoin exchange trade funds attracting mainstream investors. These spot Bitcoin ETS, which reflect Bitcoin's market price in real time, launched in January and have already generated over $4.2 billion in new investments. Bitcoin ETS offer a more accessible way for investors to gain Bitcoin exposure without the need for digital wallets or cryptocurrency exchanges. Despite past challenges, including high-profile bankruptcies and legal issues within the crypto industry, Bitcoin's price has risen over 200% in the past year. Investor enthusiasm is also buoyed by the upcoming halving event, expected to further increase Bitcoin's value due to its design scarcity. Bitcoin is currently just over $66,000. Ethereum is over $3,700 and Solana is $131. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. 
Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. SpaceX has achieved a significant milestone by launching a total of 76 satellites in two separate missions from California and Florida this week. Following the successful launch of the Crew Dragon spacecraft to the ISS, SpaceX conducted its 10th rideshare mission from Vandenberg Space Force Base. This mission included 53 small satellites, among them MethaneSat, a satellite developed by the Environmental Defense Fund to monitor methane emissions. MethaneSat aims to identify and measure methane releases from various sources, utilizing high-resolution infrared technology. The project, which seemed ambitious initially, successfully raised $88 million from diverse donors, including the Bezos Earth Fund. Shortly after, SpaceX launched 23 more of its Starlink satellites from Cape Canaveral, increasing the total to 5,942 satellites in orbit. SpaceX's ambitious plan includes launching over 140 Falcon family rockets this year, highlighting its leading role in commercial spaceflight. And in entertainment news, Paramount Global, once a dominant force in the media landscape, faces a challenging future as it seeks a buyer amid the tumultuous streaming wars. Sherry Redstone's attempt to pivot the company towards streaming with significant investments in Paramount Plus hasn't yielded the anticipated audience growth or financial stability. Paramount's struggle is emblematic of broader industry challenges, including declining cable TV subscriptions and a competitive streaming market dominated by giants like Netflix and Disney. The company's financial difficulties, compounded by a $1.5 billion projected loss from its streaming business in 2023, have prompted considerations of selling the iconic family business. Potential buyers have emerged, including media mogul David Ellison and private equity firms, but high interest rates and regulatory hurdles complicate any potential deal. The decline of Paramount not only risks the legacy of its historic studio and networks like CBS, MTV, and Nickelodeon, but also reflects the broader existential threats facing traditional media companies. Well, alrighty, folks. It's time for the quote of the day. And today, in honor of all the space talk, here's a quote from astronaut Jim Lovell. There are people who make things happen. There are people who watch things happen. And there are people who wonder what happened. To be successful, you need to be a person who makes things happen. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends.